Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, new microphone. Hope it's coming through loud and clear. It's time to go sideways real fast. Hey Jed, this is me talking from my new microphone. All right, so the mission today is, uh, where is it? Downrange milestone 3000 kilometers. Reach an altitude of at least 140 kilometers, achieve a downrange distance of 3,000 kilometers. That is the next milestone, and it's very important to me. But first, can I buy anything with my science? Satellite era science? Early avionics? Ooh. Or am I saving up for early flight control? I think I'm saving up for early flight control. Okay. Next, I need to know what tech I need to go sideways really fast. I'm thinking at least early rocketry or basic rocketry. Let's look at what early rocketry gives us. XLR 43, not very exciting. The AJ 1027 upgrade, hmm, pretty good. Um, the RD 102, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so I think we'll fast forward until basic rocketry is f finished. And with 300,000 Kerbal Dollars in the bank, I think I'll buy some R&D upgrades. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now R&D is very quick indeed. So let's fast forward to early rocketry. And early rocketry is done. Cool. Let's go build ourselves a rocket of some description. Do tell me in the comments if uh, this sounds better or if you want me to go back to the old potato microphone. Okay, now let's see. Um, what are we going to get? Yeah, we get an Aero B. We will put a separate structure tank on the top, I guess. Um, make it skinny. Oh, make it a cone. Make it skinny. Get a tank on the bottom. Make it skinny. Put, uh, oh, uh, make sure that it is high pressure. Good. Put the aero B on it. Make sure that it's an AJ-10. An AJ-1027. Good. And then fill these up with the fuel I need. And the burn time is 52 seconds. So we lengthen this to the 52 second mark. And not a scotch more. 52 precisely. And then, do we need a spin motor on that? Nah. Put a spin motor on the next bit though. Because we're going to get a... Uh, where is it? Uh, coupling. Here we go. Just procedural decoupler. De-diameterize that. And then literally get this and slap it there. Um... And then make sure that that one is 52 seconds. Perfect. All right, so that's 4,000 Delta Vs by itself. Um, we need to put a spin motor on this guy because that's going to spin. And I get... So that's... That decouples those motors light, and then we light that. Now, I guess we probably should put an ullage motor up there, shouldn't we? Let's really juice the thrust on that, and then we put just a three-fold symmetry up the top, so that when that decouples these light, and then we light that, and we will reduce the thrust on that and then we're going to put all of this on top of a big fella so let's get a big fella um like that and coninate it uh, make the bottom of it 1.3 i guess it's my ideal size and then put that guy on it to make that 1.3 and then get Old Faithful, the RD100. 
and then make sure it's the RD102. So we've upgraded it to the RD102, rated burn time 83 seconds with a fuel of ethanol and liquid oxygen. And so we lengthen this until we get, what did I say? 83 seconds. And length, 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 length. Ooh, we're running out of length. Okay, so that's uh, 1 minute 19 seconds I've got there currently. We also need wings and avionics. Uh, mmm, avionics. So we're not going to get the full burn time out of this, but the avionics... Okay, so it's a 20-ton rocket. That's fine. Um, so we will put on a... 1 meter early avionics package, because it's lighter. Um... We are, we are 100 mil... We are 100 mil taller than, we, than we're allowed to be. That's incredible. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's put the put the stabilizers on there. Um, all right. Now now we're too heavy. Um, so we need to de-lengthen this anyway. Uh, an extra little bit of length on it. How much am I allowed to get away with? About that much. And then put wings on it. And we're too heavy again. Oh, God. Okay. Less length. Less length. There we go. Right, so we got 6,900 Delta Vs. Check our staging. Okay, we got we got light, we got brake, we got fly, we got brake, ullage, spin, light, fly, brake, ullage. Should I add a little extra spin? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's fine. Make sure it spins the same way. Good. And so, so brake, light, fly, and then hopefully we get 3,000 downrange. Um, cool. And we will call this sideways. Lol. Save. I already have a ship called sideways? Well, it didn't work, so I'm overriding it. Sim. Um, start simulation. Let's make sure it works before we blow all our money, like, building it. Okie dokie, here we are on the launch pad. I should really put pretty colors on it. Ignition! Full power. Lift off. Gravity turn. Gravity turn. Gravity turn. Gravity turn. We gotta get over. We gotta get all the way over. Downrange means going sideways really quick. Come on, turn. Everything looking pretty nominal. Everything looking pretty good. Turn faster though. Turn! Okay, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. We're going to spin because all the wings give you a spin. Come on. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. I'm going to hold this attitude. Woo! And Miko. Ignite. Ignition. Continuing to go sideways, but now with more spin stabilization. Our apoapsis is already approaching 200, so the apoapsis uh, part of the mission is going to be easy to make. We're already 60 kilometers downrange as well, by the way. Again, I don't know if you can see that. It's here in the flight recorder. Um, 70... Uh, we're going sideways. It's brilliant. Second stage continuing to burn. Sideways, sideways, sideways. And third stage, go. Let's have a look at that trajectory. A tra a tra 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 tra. Still going. Should have turned over sideways, more. I'd go. I'd go even further down range. Apoapsis is approaching four hundred kilometers. <laughs> Keep going. You know what? Deterministic mode make, <laughs> might make this sort of boring because there's no chance of anything exploding at any point. 
You know, somebody says less chance of simulating stuff. Oh well. I won't show you the, the real launch then. If this makes it 3,000 kilometers downrange during the simulation, we can take it as red that, <laughs> that I succeeded during the mission. Anyway. Okay, how much longer we got now? Two, one, shut down. And now we fast forward and see how far down range we get. Uh, battery is low. That's 1,000. That's 2,000. Oh, we're going to smash this easily. That's 3,000. 4,000. Yeah, no problem. 5,000. Awesome. We probably nearly made it to Africa. We did, we did nearly make it to Africa. Look. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. So um, let's go and do this for real. Okay. For the real mission, I gave it a code of pet. Here we go. Two, one, Miko. Hmm, I might let this fly for a little bit. I might have been a little bit too aggressive on my turn. Okay. Ignition and flying. And ignition and ignition and flying. Flying Ryan. That's a movie. Never watch Flying Ryan. Don't even look it up. And 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Bing, 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 bing. Down range milestone 3,000. Complete. Plus a whole bunch of uh, other milestones as well. It looks like we got uh, uncrewed altitude record, speed record, speed record, altitude record, altitude record, altitude record. Ooh. Oh, I got quite a lot of money for that, actually. Hey, yeah, cool. All right. But uh, we succeeded. Let's watch it burn up. <laughs> falling, falling, falling. Ooh, nose first. Bam! <laughs> Life's all about the little things, you know. Okay, so I guess the next thing to do is to do first artificial satellite. Achieve orbit around Earth with a minimum perigee of 150 kilometers. I don't think we can do that with the technology we currently have, although maybe... Let's go have a look. Um, obviously, with basic rocketry, I think, with the RD-103, maybe I can. There's also this guy, 93 kilonewton engine. Maybe he's good as an upper stage engine. Hmm. That's an option. Normally I'd wait until we unlock the AJ-10. Let's go see what we can do with the technology we currently have. And if I fail to do anything in the VAB this time while playing around, you won't see it. I'll cut it out of the video. Ah! You didn't see that. Okay, so here's the rocket I've strapped together for this orbital attempt. Uh, at the bottom, we've got uh, 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 main core RD-103 with two RD-103 strap-on boosters to get me off the pad quickly. Up top, we've got, uh, what was this guy again? The S2-253 engine. This is the uh, Russian... Um, uh, 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 what, should, what should we call it? Uh, ballistic missile engine. Uh, a very early uh, ballistic missile engine. And then on top of that, we've got the AJ-1027, uh, the uh, uh, AJ-1027 upper stage with, a, with the spin motors attached. And uh, this should be enough to reach orbit if my simulations are correct. Throttle up, SAS on, ignition, full power, and lift off. And because we've got a lot of power at the start, we are t starting the gravity turn immediately on the way to space. Um, obviously, in case you didn't know, obviously, in case you didn't know, um, much of the uh, reason that uh, both the USA and Russia were interested in space exploration 
or rocketry specifically anyway, was because they wanted uh, ways of um, uh, sending nuclear warheads to each other without endangering pilots. So obviously the ballistic missile program of uh, both nations was was a was a was a huge um, uh, funding source for rocket scientists. <laughs> Booster set, will they explode? Boom! Aerodynamic forces destroyed by boosters, as usual. I love it. But we are continuing on our way to space with our core RD-103 stage. The apoapsis is still increasing. Um, let's bring up the... This is probably easier to read, where my apoapsis and periapsis are. So, my periapsis needs to be above 150 kilometers uh, to actually pass the contract, which I will bring up here. First artificial satellite. Um, periapsis above 150 kilometers and stable orbit for two minutes. I think you've seen me do something very similar to this before, actually. Um, as long as the time to apoapsis uh, is increasing, which is up here and barely readable, um, then you're in good shape and you can continue to um, increase your gravity turn sideways. Obviously, um, because getting into orbit requires you go sideways really, really fast, every little extra piece of delta V you can put into going sideways instead of up um, is, is, is way better. Because if you're wasting uh, if you're wasting delta V going up, you're just fighting gravity the whole time, and you might not reach orbit at all. Okay, we're gonna go super flat, and. Main engine cut off in two, one, shutdown. And we have a clean light of the ballistic missile upper stage. All right, on our way to space. Let's uh, tilt up a little bit because our time to apoapsis is decreasing a little bit faster than I'd like. And uh, there's Florida, and we're over the Atlantic Ocean, and there's Cuba, and there's the, uh, I don't know what that is, Bermuda, the Bahamas. My geography is failing me. I'm a space guy, not a land guy. Get off my back. Apoapsis is increasing towards 200 kilometers. Time to apoapsis is decreasing, but nice and slowly. Um, obviously, the most efficient orbital insertion is if you finish circularizing your orbit, like the... Um, how to say... Um... Actually, I was about to tell a complete lie. Never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> what I'm really interested in now is, uh, now that we're going pretty much sideways, to look at my delta V and look at my current orbital velocity. So 4,500 delta V is remaining, it says here in my instruments, and our current velocity is 4,500 meters per second for a total velocity of... Uh, 9,000 meters per second-ish, which means we will definitely be in orbit if we finish our circularization close to our apoapsis. Twenty seconds left in this stage. Everything is nominal because I had the settings turned on so that nothing will break. <laughs> what? I'm actually speechless. I disabled test light. I disabled it. Okay, so I hadn't... I, I misspoke. I hadn't disabled test light. I set it to deterministic mode. And what that means is the maximum burn time of an engine is extremely important and I accidentally made the second stage uh, uh, have too much fuel in it and it, and it and it burned for too long. So I reduced the length of it. The delta V is about the same because if you reduce weight from the upper stages, it increases the efficiency of the lower stages, so it all balanced out. So I have about the same delta V with roughly the same rocket, and here we go, SAS on, throttle up, ignition, check our staging, everything's fine, full power, lift off, gravity turn. And this is where uh, realism overhaul starts to get, uh, pull up, boom! <laughs> this is where realism overhaul starts to get pretty boring. There's only so many 10 minute rides to space you can see before, you know, it gets a little bit tiring. <laughs> Still, I enjoy doing it. Obviously, through the power of editing, I can uh, reduce some of the tedium for you. And... Clean light! Alright. Double check my burn time here. Yeah, it was one minute 35 seconds. <laughs> what 
a stupid mistake to make. Like, I knew about that, didn't I? Uh, I'm such a dummy. Oh, well. We should have it sorted out in the end. We haven't failed the contract yet. We've got maybe, like, 300 days left, I think. I do have to spend a lot of money rushing through the construction of the new rocket, though. The deadline is, like, uh, two years, I think. And 10 seconds left on the engine. Five, four, three, two, one, Seco. And we are lit. And let's watch our periapsis climb out from inside the Earth up to above the Earth and all the way into space. And then we will be in a proper orbit. Look at this little AJ-10. Look at this little Aero-B engine. Isn't it, isn't it cute? It's so cutesy. <laughs> Alright, go son. Go son. Negative 1,000. Negative 500. Sea level. Whoa! Oh, camera goes crazy. And we're well in space now. <laughs> oh, we're going to get altitude records for this. Yes, go buddy. <laughs> Periapsis 166 kilometers. Apoapsis 5,824 kilometers. That's perfect. Now we're just going to wait for the contract to detect that we've been in orbit for two minutes and done first artificial satellite nailed it let's go for a little trip around the planet shall we uh, oh wait we, you've already seen this <laughs> and of course we're going to run out of power really quickly as well because uh yeah we've already run out of power because i didn't put any batteries on this that wasn't the point the point was just to make a satellite that goes into orbit boom nailed it all right, might as well stop the video here, I think. I don't know how long it's going to be after I edit it down. But uh, I just needed to play with a new microphone. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.